Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, it's Rob from SEL, the Subject Composition and Light Photography Podcast, and RobNonPhoto.com, with a quick look at a little bargain I picked up at the car boot sale a couple of months ago. This is the Minolta Auto Meter 2, which is an old school light meter. Um, in the olden days, when cameras didn't have light meters in, built inside them, the camera had no way of knowing what the exposure was, so what your f dot should be or your shutter speed, um, based on your uh, on the film speed you put in. So you had to use a light meter, and this is one of those beasties. But this is quite a a bit different because this one is actually a I think they call them an incident light meter rather than a reflective light meter and you can still use light meters today if you want to um, if you don't quite trust your metering in your uh, new camera or if you've got an old film SLR where maybe the light meter doesn't exist or doesn't work anymore and this one's uh, quite cool quite cool so the idea is that with an incident light meter the light meter itself is measuring the amount of light that lands on the light meter um, and it gives you a reading for that rather than the amount of light reflected off the subject um, which sounds pretty similar but it's, it's, it's a little bit different so imagine if I was taking a picture of somebody and I wanted to get the exposure bang on for their face let's imagine my hand is their face what I would do is I would take the light meter put it in front of their face take off the reading and that would tell me um, depending on what ISO I'm using it would tell me which shutter speed and which um, f-stop or aperture combination to use um, and you can bend it around and to get all sorts of different angles now so what we do with this one is uh, oh you may well notice as well that it says ref for reflective now to, in order to do reflective light metering I think you've got to have a different head on it you've got to get rid of this little opaque thing and go for a different one but mine didn't come with that but I'm not really that bothered so to use it what you have to do is there's a little lock on the side so you turn that lock off and then if you carefully look at the dial when I press the button you should well f first thing you do sorry is put your ISO in so that would be your film speed or your um, I remember I do it now there so let's say we we're shooting at ISO 200 so just move that to 200 then all I've got to do now is press the button you should see the dial turn Dunk. See the dial span around, and then it stays where it is. So with some cheaper light meters, as soon as you take your finger off the button, um, it goes back to its um, default setting, but this one it stops. So what you then do is you look at the bottom here, and you've got all the f-stops around here from 1 through to f90 on the right-hand side, and then you've got the um, time here. So all you can do is say, right, if I want to shoot at f8, I need to do, for, this, for the particular light that's falling on the light meter at the moment, uh, ISO 200 I would have to do an exposure for about half a second isn't that like cool so let's make it a little bit darker for it I'll put my hand on it and press the button again and you see it slide round so now at f8 I need to do if, it, if that was how much light was on I'd have to do an exposure for about um, five or six seconds so that's really cool um, so you can see it's a really nice little bit of kit, bit of kit. and if you see one of these at the car boot sale by all means go and go and pick one up because it works really well um, I've tested it against my camera and it seems to be still calibrated okay um, it came with a nice little case that I put in nice little Minolta case and it feels quite cool walking around with my um, uh, SRT 101 and this nice little incident um, light meter it's all self it's all powered off a battery inside but these are still fairly easy to get hold of it's uh, 4 LR 44 6 volt battery so you can still buy them at most uh, sort of electrical shops um, and I've been well chuffed with it and it works really well nice and easy and I'll just put the lock on again so I don't drain the battery and there we go so that's the Minolta Autometer 2 incident light meter from Rob from robnonphoto.com and the SEL subject composition and light photography podcast thanks for watching